Hey guys, today I'm doing a little maintenance on my RO system and I want to show you one of the things I'm going to add to it to extend the life of my RO element and let's get started with this video. So I'm going to add a bypass valve to the flow restrictor so that I can flush the RO element. Um, I'm on well water and it produces a lot of dissolved solids which slowly clogs up the element here and if you don't flush it every now and then you're going to have to end up replacing your element faster. So to install this valve you're going to need some extra parts and I'll put a link down below in the description on, for Amazon so you can find some of these parts. Anyways what you're going to want is a couple of T's, a valve, and a little bit of extra tubing and Let's go ahead and show you how to use these quick connects if you haven't used them before. And then we'll get started with bypassing the flow restrictor. So there's a little quick demonstration on how to use these. Um, for those of you that haven't used them before, I'm going to mark this tubing just for reference, just in a couple places with a pen, so that we can see how far I'm pushing it into the connector. Um, you want to cut the tubing as square as possible. Then you take and insert the tubing into your connector and push it until it stops, which you can see there. And once you pull it back, it's firmly locked in place. And then you'll want to stick your safety lock onto the connector, assuming your uh, kit came with the uh, safety locks. And what that does is it prevents you from pushing the connector for a release position and I'll show you how to release it real quick so you pull this little safety clip off and then if you push in with the tubing you can see that little line there went in see right here and you grab that and then pull your tubing out while you're pressing that firmly towards the fitting so that's all you do to release it show you again so there it is locked and then we're going to hold that piece and pull it back out okay so let's get on with the uh, bypass valve okay so bypass the element you want to find the drain line which is the line connected to your flow restrictor which goes to your drain um, it's this black line on mine and what I'm going to do is disconnect the input to my flow restrictor which is on the side of the element. I'm going to put a T there. I'm going to disconnect the output side of the flow element, put a T there, and then put the valve in between it. So let me get that all taken apart put back together and I'll show you when I'm at the next step. Okay, so let me show you what I did. Um, I've basically replaced the tubing that went from the drain side of the RO element and brought the line out to the front of the filter assembly. That way I have easier access to the valve. And I put the T in line with the uh, drain system. And one side goes to the flow restrictor, one side goes to the valve. And make sure when you install your flow restrictor back in that the arrow is pointing the right direction to the drain. And that's basically it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is flush the system for about 15 minutes with this valve on and that will force a high flow rate of water through this R element which will move most of the particles out through, through the drain line out to the drain and then I'll turn it off for normal operation which will be the valve in this position and that'll be it and I'll do that about every few months just to um, clean my R element out and extend its life. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.